Greetings, Jerry. We're here with some more Fire Emblem Fates Conquest. I just got done shoveling snow, and I kind of want to warm up, so let's get into a fierce hot battle right now. We already got prepared at the end of the last episode, so here we go. It's Opera House time, if you know what that means. Corrin is filled with doubt after witnessing brutality in Sheev. Before Corrin can share these th uh, these doubts with King Garen, the Hoshidin army appears in Nestra. And we get a really cool unit in this chapter, and I can't wait to use them. Here we go. Voice of Paradise. I'm ready. Bring it on, dude. It's time. Nestra time. Boats. <laughs> I love the boats, dude. Boat chapter. It's a boat chapter that's not really a boat chapter. Think about that. <laughs> Everyone hates firing boat chapters, but uh, this is like a boat okay. chapter that's actually okay. Uh, Camilla, are you sure we shouldn't go straight home? Yes. Yes, silly brother. Father wishes us to uh, wishes to meet us here in Circensia. It's his favorite town in all of Nestra. Huh? But isn't it dangerous for Father to travel to a place like this? <laughs> it's fine. Father comes here often, and nothing bad has ever happened. Nestor is a neutral territory, so you need not fear unless you try to start a fight. I see. Oh, I see. So we should all be safe here. That's a relief. Stay on your toes. There we go. It's always best to remain on guard. Stay on your toes, Corin. The territory may be neutral, but there might be unruly Hoshidans about. Leo? Leo! <laughs> Long time no see, brother. I'm so happy to see you. Did you finish Father's mission already? Yes. For the most part. All that's left is, the, is to guard Father during his time here. After or after that, I'm free to do as I please. That means I'll be joining you. Thank you. Thank you, Leo. I'll feel much better with you on our team. Lord Leo. My lord, you finally arrived. I've been so worried. My mind has been spiraling into a dark abyss ever since we parted. <sighs> It's nice to have you back. While you were doing the king's bidding, we couldn't help but wonder what awful trials he was forcing you to endure. We've been terribly worried. Uh, Whoa, this has gotten way too mushy, way too fast. I appreciate your concern, both of you, but give me some breathing room. Okay. <laughs> uh, sorry. As you wish, my lord. <sighs> if you're quite, if you're quite, uh, if you're quite finished, the father should be here shortly. I'm expected to be at the theater well before he arrives. If you'll excuse me. Huh? The theater? What theater? Ah. ah, that's right. This is your first time in the fair town of Circensia. This place is known for its incredible singers and dancers. They've always put on a big performance when their father, uh, father comes to visit. <sighs> that's interesting. Sounds exciting. <laughs> if you're free, you should take the, ta take the time to watch. It's sure to be breathtaking. Even, uh, even warriors need to rest now and then. Just don't get carried away. Anyway, I really must get going. I'll catch up with you later. Yes. Bye, Leo. Yep, and there he goes. It's so hard to put up a front when I'm still reeling from the tragedy and sh uh, tragedy and Sheev. As fun as it sounds, I'm in no mood. F uh, no mood for a show right now. Maybe Hans was lying. It's it's possible Father really uh, didn't intend for us to. I'll ask him about it whenever I get the chance. I need to know. And if he did give the order, maybe I can convince him there's a better way. I don't know, dude. This is Garen you're talking about. Freaking Garen who just screams. Look at all the boats. <sighs> wow, this is Circensia's opera house. It's incredible. Brother. Corin, over here. Oh. There you are, Leo. I'm glad I finally found you. I've never seen a, such a huge crowd. <laughs> it's something else, isn't it? You're just in time. Father arrived moments ago. Father, Corin is here. Oh, boy. Hi, Garen. <coughs> Father. Hmm. Corin, I have received word about the incident in Sheev. I am told you eradicated the rebels as well as the unarmed townspeople. Um. Father, let me explain. Well done. You did well, Corin. Huh? Huh? Hmm. When I heard that your group destroyed Sheev, I couldn't have been prouder. Rebellions are like seeds. One must salt the earth before they sprout. I knew you'd eventually come around and learn to accept my method of ruling. I'm told you even enjoyed watching the life spark fade from the injured rebel soldiers. Hans praised you highly for displaying behavior befitting of a Norian royal. No. But, Father, that's not true. Why would Hans say that? I need to talk to you about what happened in Sheev. If you please allow me to... Um... Lord Corrin, the performance is about to begin. Please take your seat. <clears throat> but... Let me explain. Such an important show cannot be delayed for one person, even a prince. You can discuss your newfound Norian pride with King Garen later. Hmm? What's wrong, brother? Did something happen in Sheev? Yeah? Yes, Leo, something awful. But I suppose I'll have to discuss it with Father later. Right. I'm a yes, I'm afraid so. We can't keep the performers waiting. Your seat is right over there. Please hurry. It's about to begin. Understood. Okay, I'm going. I'll fill you in later, Leo. All right, let's well. take a look at the show. Huh, it occurs to me I haven't seen Azura in a, <laughs> Azura in a while. This is the dumbest thing ever, dude. Get ready for the stupidest thing ever. Uh, she would love to see this. I hope she found a seat elsewhere. Yep, but instead we're going to get... <laughs> You guys, who is that? Gaze upon an empty white throne, a legacy of lies, 
Yo, viewers, I have no idea who this is. <laughs> Crones of increasing discomfort! <laughs> there it is. I have no idea who that was. That was crazy. Who the heck was that? My king! What's wrong? King Garen! Soldiers, capture that performer! Do it now! Her song may have been a curse of some kind! Oh boy. A curse! Father! Corin, we need to catch that singer! Huh? That stage, it's empty! It can't be! Did she get away? Well, she could have gotten far. Let's hurry! Right. Alright, but... <laughs> Hurry up! Stop right there, Doris! Oh no, it's Kumagura! Oh, he's got counter magic, look out! Hoshin soldiers! Back away if you wish to live! This war ends now, and the way to peace begins with the Norian King's death! What was that? You intend to buy peace with death? That's madness! I see. So, the Hoshinans are responsible for that singer's curse. I should have known. What? Singer? Curse? What are you rambling on about? Don't play dumb. One of your underlings performed a curse song to hurt our father. I have no idea what you're referring to, nor do I care. Leave it to a filthy Norian to fabricate a story to try and distract us. What? You're a liar and a coward. I won't let you get away with this. Oh boy, and oh look, it's Azura! Hey. <gasps> Corin, what's going on? <sighs> Azura, where have you been? I, who was that mysterious dancer with long, light blue hair that looked exactly like you and can also dance and sing just like you and is also singing your song? My apologies. Sorry, I'm, I'm late. I wasn't feeling well, so I went outside to get some air. Why are the Hoshinan soldiers here? Yeah? They've come to kill Father. They used some strange song to inca incapacitate him. Oh, while you were outside, did you happen to see a strange woman fleeing the Opera House? No. No, I did not. So you refuse to back down, eh? We'll just have to kill you all! Troops, prepare to attack! Oh. Dang it, we have no choice. We'll have to fight them off. Understood. Let's do this! Yep, let's do this indeed. That's so dumb that Corrin doesn't recognize Azura. So, here we go, we got this chapter here. It's Defeat the Boss, so, um... This is definitely a... I don't want to say it's super hard, but it can be hard because there's a lot of Peggy Knights. And when we reach around, I want to say... Hmm... I want to say once these guys come to us, or maybe these guys, we get some reinforcements in the back. I want to say um, three Kinshi Knights and then like three Peggy Knights, because I've, I've done this chapter a lot. And then this guy over here, dude, oh my gosh. He's pretty decent, you can capture him, Kumagura. I'm probably going to try and capture him if I can. Um, he's got counter magic, which is scary, so I can't use the Dragonstone on him no matter what. The very first time I played through Conquest, I did the entire chapter perfectly. And I was like, just doing so well. Also, there's an trap user, that's scary. I was doing so well, so well. And I was like, okay, I can finish him off with the Dragonstone. Um, all right, I'll use, I'll damage him with the Dragonstone. And then I'll kill him next turn. And then I use counter, he has counter magic. So I use Dragonstone and I got hit by like 20 damage and I died. It was so stupid, dude. Okay, so double chest on the field. That's a little bit interesting. Um, but I think I'm gonna pick my units and I'll be right there. There should be, yeah, this guy down here as well, Keaton. Um, we wanna get to him as fast as we can. So I think the best way to do that is, um, yeah, I think I have the same pair up that I always do, and that's pair up Corn with Leo, send Leo down as far as possible, and then have Azura sing to him. Then we um, talk to Keaton with Corn, swap over to Leo, that way Leo takes out most of these guys. Keaton runs away because I'm not going to be using Keaton, at least I don't think I am. Let me check. Yep, I just checked. I am not using Keaton. My notes also say that the um, chest on the right is a Seraph robe, so this chest right here has a Seraph robe. And this one up here has 10,000 gold, so this one's much better. Um, and yeah, once we approach the archers over on the right side, three Kinshi Knights, three Sky Knights appear. Okay, I'm ready for it. Um, I don't know why I wrote down reinforcements only for that chapter, but I'm fine. Um, I know you're like, oh, it's cheating. You've already, you already know what reinforcements are coming. I've played the game before, so it's fine. I'm, it's, I already knew that from memory anyway. I literally just said it. So um, let's see, Camilla. So here's, here's kind of interesting. So we got Hexing Rod which is annoying. Um, do we have Enfeeble, Freeze, Freeze. Okay, so five annoying debuffers. Main one that is scary is the Hexing Rod user. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm gonna go about doing that. So let me just start picking my units, getting my stuff organized real fast, and I'll be right there. Okay, everything should be set. Let's just go. And there's uh... Keaton. 
<sighs> I made a real mess for myself. I came down the mountain to gather bugs for my collection, but now I'm lost. Hmm, what's going on over there? I thought I heard a ruckus, but wow, that's a lot of people. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, that look, that guy looks nice. I'll ask him for directions back up the mountain. I have a, I may have a horrible sense of direction, but I'm a great judge of character. Yeah, um, except you're not, because corn sucks. Haha, <laughs> funny. Okay, so now we got some spooky music happening here. I can bring Leo all the way down right here. Um, and then go for just the weight. Go Azura. Give him a little bit of a sing. Here we go. Leo and Azura on the battlefield. I'm impressed. There we go. Leo is finally here. Feels good, dude. So now I'm going to just kind of chat with Leo for a second. Hi. Or sorry. No, my key. Hey. Hey, you. Yeah, you with the sword and the hair and stuff. <sighs> what? what? <laughs> that literally is like every person, every farm character. What, why does that man have a tail? Uh... Wow, really? That's how you're going to play this? I thought you looked like a nice guy, but you clearly have issues. For the record, I am not a man with a tail. I'm a wolfskin, and I'm proud of it. Huh? A wolfskin? Uh, sorry, but what's that? Seriously, have you been living in isolation uh, your whole life or what? Actually, yep. <laughs> as a wolfskin, I can pretty much uh, I can transform into a uh, wolf by using a beast stone. Pretty killer, eh? <sighs> wow, it really is. Sorry, I've lived a rather sheltered life. I hope I didn't offend you. May I ask what you're doing here? Again? Well, I'm just sort of I'm just I'm sort of just a bit unsure of my whereabouts. I can't find my way home. I was thinking maybe, you know, you could help a fellow out. <laughs> so that's why you called out to me. You're lost, poor thing. I really don't uh, care. No, no. <laughs> I mean, maybe. I Maybe just a little lost, but mostly not lost at all. It's complicated. Sorry, but I actually don't know this area, much less the way back to your home. I see. Oh, I see. Well, whatever. I can manage on my own. I'll be fine. Yeah? Wait, why don't you join my team? You can stick with us until you find your way home. Uh, you seem like you'd be a great ally. What do you say? Join your group. I guess I'll save your tail. Hmm. Well, I, I could find my way home anytime I wanted. Let's get that clear. But if you really think I'd be helpful, I can't very well turn you down. Well. <laughs> your tail is wagging. Does that mean you're happy right now? Happy to join us? My tail is not wagging. It's not. Got it? I'm Keaton, your superior. <laughs> anyway, I guess that's settled. Nice to know ya. The name's Keaton. As a token of our new friendship, I'd like you to uh, have this treasure I came across. It's a hairball. <laughs> <laughs> Gorgeous, ain't it? Best one I've seen in ages. No need to thank me. As my new pal, I'm entrusting this gem to you. You better take good care of it, or else. Oh. Uh, thanks. I'll do that. <laughs> what a loser. Okay. Let's immediately just kind of go for the Bryn Hilder. Yeah, Leo, um, he's got some pretty interesting stuff. He's got Pragmatic, so this isn't really that good against, um, these archers coming up here because... It's not really a good thing. Whatever. He's got Malefic Aura, so that's basically magic plus two. So Leo is definitely an interesting guy. Um, he's got good strength. He's like a pretty balanced guy, except like, um, think of like Hinoka, where she's balanced and like, but pretty much raise all those her stats above average. Leo is basically the opposite. To make an average unit and then lower all his stats a little bit. Like every Leo is just, he's so unfortunately underwhelming. Like he's good, but he's just so underwhelming. So I'm gonna send in K's for the hexing rod because he is probably the highest Avo chance. Actually, why is Effie's Avo so freaking high? What the heck? Okay, whatever. I'm not going to think about it. Um, let's start getting Kamel out here. We want to start attacking these... Uh, I guess you're up first. Yeah, steal Naginante users. So, Baruka can kind of just come right here. Go for the Iron Axe. Then I'll go Camilla right next to her with the... Um, also the Iron Axe. And then I'll send these two probably up here. Maybe. I'm not sure just yet. The reinforcements have a trigger, but it's a positional trigger, not a turn-based trigger, so we'll be fine. Um, I'll bring Felicia down this way, and I'll put um, these two right here. Let's see how this goes. Enemy phase time, hexing rod, 48% chance. Please dodge. Come on, Kays. Ah, of course. A freaking course. Okay. Um, you guys are coming in for Baruka. She's got plenty of defense, though, so I know she'll be fine. Come on, please hit. Dude, that's unfair. That guy missed a two. Per that guy missed a ninety-one percent. But you know what? It's fine. It only did two damage, so it's not like it's gonna do anything anyway. Um, okay, overcomes you guys, and then Bryn Hilder has the perfect amount to kill. That's why I love doing this with Leo. He takes care of three of them perfectly. Oh, the dodge! Let's go, Leo. <gasps> Leo is an RNG master on his very first turning attacks. He's dodging and he's critting. no option. Yeah, that's right, Leo. Oh my gosh, failure is no option. You gotta one shot all of them. Let's go, Leo, dude. Oh, I love using Leo. Yo, Leo's popping off. He's going insane. <laughs> he can't be stopped. Look at that. His horse is on steroids or something. I swear. Oh, I'm going to do, do it again. Dodge again. I swear. Leo, dodge again. He's a god. Oh, my gosh. Leo. 
Dude, Excellent. dodge three? That was 60, 60, 70, and 60. That's insane. Oh, and then he's got the dual guard. Let's go, Leo. What a god. What a freaking god. Let's go, Leo. Oh, Brent Hill in the face, dude. Get that freaking tree. Get attacked by a literal tree, dude. Okay, so now it's, things are a little scary because we got some units flying over here. Um, so how do we want to deal with this? Probably... Maybe Chamilla takes out one of you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, how about Chamilla takes out one of you and you actually die from it, please? <laughs> there we go. Um, so, yeah, these Peggy Knights are definitely not exactly my favorite thing on the planet. Um, maybe I shouldn't have sent Silas upwards either because that probably wasn't the best thing for me to do. So let me bring him back down over here. Um, let's hide Elise back over here. Niles... Uh, not yet. Keaton, I don't want to use it all if I don't have to. Um, then I'll have... I guess Selena will have to be my wall for now. Selena Niles. Selena Niles can probably do it. Um, maybe something like right here. Uh, go Bronze Sword, though. It's fine if they attack Keaton. I'm not really that worried about Keaton. Um, I, I should attack with Corrin. As much as I want to keep using Leo, I should attack with Corrin. Come on, Corn! I believe in you, buddy. You stupid loser. I... Okay. <laughs> Should've gone Leo. Should've gone Leo. Um, Keaton's fine to just kind of chill. I didn't mean to do that! I, I... I... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that! Oh, Leo actually got hurt this time. Okay, we're in a much better position. I can kind of do... Um, I can kill you, Baruka. And then I'll kill someone with Niles. And then I think we're fine. Yeah, I, I, I'm playing it more defensively this time. I think I overextended a bit too hard. Ah! <laughs> Gosh, those Peggy Knights, I swear. I'll never get over them just screaming to their deaths. All right. Yeah, I know you are, Chamilla. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. I've had better. Niles, I know. I know you've had better. But listen, you gotta you gotta have something. You can't just... I don't even know, dude. Just... just Let's go, Effie. She wasn't in the last chapter, so we can kind of sit here. She has less defense than Silas. I mean, she does get more of the, um, when, with the parrot bonus, she does get, um, gives more to Silas, so it makes sense. So it's fine. Um, with the brass nagging on she can kind of stick there, going ham. 22 defense, she'll be fine. Leo isn't looking too hot, though, so let me give him a little bit of a bonus right here. Um, I meant heal if I can. Go for mend. Um, then what I want to do, probably, hmm. Azura's range is right there. So if I do Leo, try to hit you. Hopefully you don't dodge this time. You did you dodge? No, I used Corrin. That's right. I was gonna do this, but it's Leo. We're good. Was that all? Yeah, it's it's fine for now, Leo. You're good. We're good. Um, then you have you're still kind of strong. So I'm gonna go Corrin. Um, go for like Dragonstone Corrin. Leo's pair up is actually pretty good for Dragonstone Corrin because um he gives us. I believe plus three defense and plus three magic. Yes, and also speed. Okay, no speed. Um, so yeah, just just plus three defense, plus three magic. That's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. I like that. That's a good pair up. And my Dragonstone does suck. Like my offensive, because I have a minus speed bane. Or sorry, my, I, have a, I have a magic bane. So look at the water. What the heck? Why is it like frozen? That's weird. The water didn't have any like moving textures. That was kind of strange. Um, let's see here. Camilla probably won't take any damage from me, right? Two damage. Yeah, that's that's literally fine. There's no reason. I don't have a hand axe. I wasn't gonna buy one or anything, so I can do something like this. Come back here. And I kinda wanna kill you though. Um but I don't wanna be in range when I do. So there's nothing I can Kaze? Kaze, maybe. Let me check out Kaze. Let me see how Kaze is doing today. Kaze? Ooh, Kaze! The hunter's knife! Didn't I tell you it was gonna come in useful? I told you it was gonna be useful. Boom! Get out of here! Yeah, I'm K's. That's let's go freaking K's, dude. K's is so good. Level 15 K's. Oh yeah. Leave it to me. The defensive level. Very nice K's. We're gonna need some defenses for you eventually. There we go. This is looking much cleaner. I can put um Effie. Sorry, not Effie. Uh, uh, Elise right here. That way Effie won't take any damage. They probably won't even bother attacking here, but that's fine. Um, because I can take my time on this chapter. I can kind of take my time. Keaton is useless. Uh, we don't want to leave enemy or we don't want to leave units all the way to the other side because of um, the reinforcements will appear on the left side. So they're still pretty scary. Um, the thing is, I want to... I'm probably going to have to wait out when it comes to the stupid, annoying things. Um, that being the hexing rod and enfeeble and stupid stuff like that because 
They are really annoying. I hate Enfeeble. That was a good fight. Yeah, pretty decent there, Kays. Um, and now I can do... Eh. Eh. Okay, I'm going to go for a little bit of a risky play here. Go, like, right here. I don't think this will cause the reinforcements to trigger. But I, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Something tells me I'll be fine. I don't think that we're going to trigger the reinforcements just yet. I think the reinforcements oh, trigger when the archers on the right side come in. That being these guys. So if, if we're ever in the range of these archers, I think that's when they come in. So if we step right here, reinforcements show up. I think they're a trigger-based reinforcement. We'll have to see. Um, but for now, Effie can go for um, whatever she wants, actually. I'll go for Steel Lance that way. In case the Steel Lance does more weapon EXP, she gets it right away. There we go. Yeah, Effie has some pretty good hit rate. And now she's going to get some more support with Elise, which is always good. Um, but then I need to kill you. And how do I want to kill you? Probably with Corrin. Um, or I'll do chip damage to you with Corrin, and then I'll kill you with Kays. That seems like a pretty good idea, because Kays still needs um, to finish you off. So Corrin, here you go, buddy. Catch a little bit of that. And boop, Leo coming in for the save. Let's go, Leo. And then Corrin gets to level 18. That's good, because remember what I said? I always, without fail, have always promoted right. in Chapter 15. Well, this is Chapter 14, um, in case you didn't know. So we're on schedule for that, which is going to be good. Um, let's see if we can toss Kays this kill. And then he'll level up to, what is he, level 15 right now? Level 15, that's good. Uh, see, I'm so glad I brought Kays in the last chapter um, instead of Effie. That way um, he gets some levels and catch up with the team. That's so good, especially when he's killing all those magic users. Oh, it was so good. Okay, so I'm going to get frozen here a lot um, and enfeebled. That's fine, because all I have to do when this is happening is I'm just going to wait it out. I know it's cheap, but, like, you really think I'm going to run in while I'm going to constantly get frozen? Like, why would I do that? That's just going, that's just heading to my death. Also, what the heck? Oh, you have pass. Okay, I'm running. I'm running away. Let's not deal with pass right now. Not a fan of pass um, at all in the slightest. Here comes, oh, there's the hexing rod. Niles, come on, don't get hexing rod. Yes, okay, you're like the one unit I didn't want to get hexing rod, for sure. Here comes the freeze on the corn. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And then the enfeeble. Oh, not yet. Okay, steel lance is enough to kill you. Um, maybe I should have gone brass instead, but whatever. It's fine. Good. Good. There we go. Snag a level up there, Effie. Are you level 14 now? You're level 15 now. That's good. Okay, I think our whole team is level 15 and above, which is good. Um, I think mostly? Oh, except for Elise. Except for Elise, unfortunately. So poor little Elise. Um, let's separate for now. I want to... I kind of want Keaton to be hexing on. Let me see. What's the hexing on range? Okay, and he's already missed one. So I don't want it to be Niles. Niles is the last person I want to get hexing on it. Um, freeze is fine. Enfeeble. I'm not in the range of the Enfeeble staff. So, but the archers are right there. But I feel like if I get in the range of the Enfeeble, the reinforcements show up. So I'm going to wait right here. Um, and then, who's the unit who doesn't matter if they're Enfeebled or not? Probably Keaton. But I'll wait until Keaton is hexing rotted first. Um, and then I'll just kind of wait for the rest of my units to kind of join in. And I'll keep spamming Sings to Ks. That way their support goes up. And I kind of just chill here, I think. I'll even separate Leo over here. Um, that way I can pair up with him if I need to move. There we go. I honestly don't care if Keaton gets hit by this, but it would be ideal if he dodged. That's whatever. I don't care. Um, he's freezing Keaton as well. That's fine. Dude, they're going ham on poor Keaton. <laughs> poor Keaton. Um... Now, who is fine to be hexing rotted last? Probably Elise, honestly. Yeah. If I'm smart, she'll never get hit. So I'll just put Elise in range. Um, move Silas all the way back down here. Do a little bit of a swappy swap. Put Kays back here, and then we just chill. This is literally the chapter, dude. Because um, hexing rod is dumb. You gotta just get hexing rotted, dude. I hate hexing rod. Uh, this strategy will not work. Uh, it, down the line, I'll, I'll tell you that much. This strategy will not work, but while it works, I'm doing it for now. And here comes Hexing. She might just dodge. Come on, Elise. Of course. it's uh, They always hit, dude. They always freaking hit. I'll never hit my freeze. My freeze are always like 70% hit, 50% hit, but their hit rate, uh-uh. Like triple mine, I swear. It's insane. Um, so yeah, now you're out of stabs. The um, freeze staff user only has one left. There's a second freeze staff user, though. That's the problem. And there's also an Enfeeble Staff user, which I'm going to put Keaton in. Never mind. I'm going to put Elise in range of. Elise is going to be looking terrible right now. Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, 
Let me step up in range of you, too. Yeah, this is fine. We're literally just waiting it out. Hexagon is gone, so everything everything else is just temporary debuffs, which I'm completely fine with whoever gets debuffed. Um, as long as I just chill and wait, because, like, this is just the chapter. I'm just going to wait, and I'll be back in a second. Oh, oh, that, that was scary. Okay, I just realized I was about to attack one of these archers, and I realized one of them had lunge, and they can literally bring me over to this side, and I get bombarded by all these units. So, when I attack this guy, I need to make sure I kill him. I think. But if I do that, I think I step in the... I think I, I think I trigger the reinforcements to uh, actually make them show up. So, what I'm going to do is, after I start getting enfeebled more often... Um, is there only one more enfeeble? Two more enfeebles left. Okay, let's wait out the enfeeble. And then, um, when we're done with that, I'm going to kind of... Yeah, I, I don't care if Effie's going to get enfeebled. Just whatever. Just skip. I already know she's got hit. But she's freaking Effie. Um, but I want to start spamming K's against these guys, and then have them run back, hit, run back, hit, and I'll do the same thing with you, run back, hit, run back, hit, then run back, hit, run back, hit, because I don't want to get lunged. Lunge is scary, dude. I hate lunge. So, we're going to sit, wait again, enfeeble on the stupid Keaton, down he goes, and there we go, enfeeble has all been used up, no more enfeebles, only freeze staffs left, so now it's time to bring Azur up here, and just kind of sing for K's when we can. Alright, K's, that doesn't do a lot though, but he's all 15, so... Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. Come on, Kays. I believe in you, Kays. Come on, boo! And then you get hit! And then a boo! And then it's just so easy because all we gotta do... There we go. He's, he's pretty much dead. But I don't want to get lunged. See, I, I would normally kill him and then just, like, get the dual guard or something. I don't know. But, uh... I don't want to get lunged. Lunge is terrifying. So I just put him back and I toss him a heal. That's all I do. And Elise got to level 14, so I'm going to keep giving her some heals that way um, and keep balancing out her and Felicia. Because again, Felicia's like still getting there, but Elise needs to also get to level 20, hopefully. There we go. We can just kind of chill. I'm taking this chapter on my own pace because I want to give the kills to the units that I want so I can make sure they're all kind of caught up for chapter... I would say chapter 15 is like probably the the halfway point. Like Once you get to chapter 16, you kind of enter in... The second wave, not wave, Leave I don't know. Time. The second arc, I don't even know. I don't really know what to call it. Just the second part of Conquest, I guess. Like the latter half of Conquest, you should, I should say. Um, like when you start promoting your units, I guess. So like chapter 15 kind of marks the start of that. And then from there on, it just gets more complex. So um, I feel like Leo could probably one-shot this guy. But I am scared of... Um, there's some of the throwing club or something? Yeah, throwing club. Um... But I think we'll be fine, so I'll send Leo up there to probably kill next turn. Let's just see. Any phase time, no reinforcements. I'm gonna go for Haboop. That's a one shot. Let's do it for sure. Get you out of here with good old Leo. Kapow! See ya, stupid. Failure is no option. Oh yeah, we're doing just fine. Now, does that trigger reinforcements? It does not. Good. Then I sing him on back, and then we're fine. We're doing just fine for now. Um. That was nothing. See, why this chapter is kind of hard is I'm pretty sure the second we trigger these archers, not only do these Peggy Knights come in, yeah, these guys will come in. I guess like scary weapons, you Bolt Naginata and Sword Catcher, those are interesting weapons. But then also the Kinshi Knights and the Peggy Knights on the other side, and they'll pincer us. And that's really scary because we don't really have any good places to run, especially with my infantry in it. So I'll bring Leo on back, and hopefully that doesn't trigger reinforcements. If it does, well then rip. It does not. Cool. The boss is stationary too, so once we get past the reinforcements, we honestly can take the chapter at our own pace. So that's kind of the goal. Um, I wanna... I'll step a, cl a step closer and see what that does. Probably not gonna do anything, but we'll see. I'll kill you with K's. Um, cause why not? And I get a free dual guard off of that. Come on, K's, get more EXP as always. There we go. Murdering K's. He's just so good at murdering, dude. That's what he does best. Now. I want to trigger these reinforcements eventually, but like, that one freeze user is so smart. They know not to use their freeze yet. They're too smart. I think the second, I think it's always when I step here. But they gotta be careful, like Pike Ruin Club, Bolt Naginata, stuff like that. So I honestly want to, hmm, where's the best part, where's the best location for me to combat as many Kinshi Knights as I can? I'm not sure. Enemy phase? Not yet, okay. I'll put Corrin right here. See what this does? Yato. I'll also, um... I'll leave Keaton here. Leave Camilla right here. Put Elise kind of in the center. And just kind of get ready. Because I feel like the reinforcements are coming. Are they coming yet? Okay, yeah. They're, I, they're, he's freezing now. Alright, this lady's freezing. Keaton's frozen there. Now. 
here they come. Yep. I think this is the, this is when utter chaos starts happening. When the chapter just goes full force. So we should get... Oh. That's a good kill. That's a good kill right there, Corrin. Um, that could help us out in the future. Nice dodge, by the way, too, I must say. Yep, here, there they are. There they are. Okay. Um, so let me see. Kinchy Knight, Peggy Knight, Kinchy Knight, Peggy Knight, Kinchy Knight, Peggy Knight. So yeah, that's definitely really scary. Really scary stuff. Best way to combat this is... Fight them full force. So, you're gonna come at me right there. So if I put Niles right there, he won't die and I'll kill you. Your defense is lower than your res. Yeah, 100% of the time. Um, this is fine. What's your speed? 18. You don't have Darting Blow. You'll be fine. So yeah, I'm gonna get hit by one, but I'll kill the Kinshi Knight. Um, and then from there, I have to kind of set up a wall. I'm gonna leave Elise all the way back here. Um, weak units kind of have to stay behind. Stronger units with defense. Azura, Azura and Kay's kind of have to stay in the back a little bit. Um, these two can kind of come up. They're not great, but they can come up. Um, Kay's has to still be on standby because he has the Hunter's Knife. And we also have Beast Killer, too. Beast Killer is going to be really good here. And if I have to, I'll use Keaton with his Beast Bane, which is basically a built-in Beast Killer. But he's also, you know, he's frozen right now, so that's fine. Um, and then Leo, Baruka. We have to be careful of Camilla and um, Baruka because, again, Kinshi Knights are a thing. So we stay right here with Corrin. Uh, I think we actually swap for Selena, and then we go for Iron Sword. That gives her the most Avo, I think. Yeah, anything but Steel Sword, actually. So I'll go, I'll go Bronze Sword, that's fine. All right, now we just chill, see how things go. Another Freeze, that's fine. Um, he can probably take a hit, still. He's kind of fat. Let's see, here we go. That's actually Death, that's not great. Um, I didn't want you to kill, but fine, whatever, you're dead. Something else, something good enough. Yeah, I mean, you're getting more HP, or sorry, you're getting more um, stuff than corn. So, are you dead? Yes, you're dead. Don't crit me. Just don't crit me. Come on, no crits. Very nice. You're dead. Okay. I've had better. All right, all right. This is where things get a little bit scary. Because Kinshi Knights are definitely strong. Nazel, 18. Oh my gosh. You deserve better? Yes, you do. Oh my word, you're so good. Okay, now you're come. Oh, oh boy, yep. Yeah, I knew these archers were going to come in sometime soon. Yep, here's the pincer. Here's where things get really scary. It's the pincer attack. It's happening right now. Oh boy. Um... And Keaton's in range, that's not good. Uh, and the bolt, the bolt user. Oh my gosh, I didn't think a chapter could go so south so fast. Oh my goodness. Um. Well, Selena. Oh, and they have lunge too. Wait, do they all have lunge? Just this guy. Okay, I'm killing the lunge user, that's good. Let's kill the lunge user. Um, that, this is a good start. Boom, get you out of here, stupid. Whew. Yeah, of course you wouldn't. Now, ah, oh, this is tough. Um, kill you with Camilla? Yep, you're dead. I'll go Iron Axe 2 to maximize the hit rate. But hold on, if I do this, I also die. I have to guarantee, that means I have to guarantee kill all the Peggy Knights. There's no, or sorry, Kinchy Knights. There's no way I'm doing that. There's no way. I have to go, that would be better, but, ugh. I can shelter though, I can shelter. Let's remember, I have shelter. Um, if I really, really need to. I don't want to shelter, but I will if I have to. Um, let's also remember that Niles can only kill thanks to the, uh... Took my target. Thanks to Camilla's thing, so he can't even one-shot. That's a problem. That is a problem. Um... Maybe Beast Killer? Oh, this guy's gonna fly over and kill everybody. He li This person kills over... Li literally kills everybody. Elise is practically dead. Um... Keaton needs to go Beast Rune for sure. Make sure he's fat, but he'll get doubled. That's the problem. Um, oh boy. Yeah, this is hard. This is hard. Um, Hunter's Knife K's maybe? One, two, three, four, five. You can't even reach. That's not good. Um, hmm. Alright, I'm going to pair up these two. I'll pair up these two. Then... Oh, I should have sheltered. Leo doesn't have shelter. Um, I can't transfer shelter. Or can I? I can't, actually. I do something like this. I can do... Transfer. Shelter. With... Not a javelin. Go for iron sword. Then I shelter. Boop. Okay, then I'm gonna... 
not kill you, actually. I'm just gonna go Brent Hilder. Um, cause I'm just trying to- I'm just trying to be fat right now. I just wanna be fat. Felicia's probably just dead every time. Azura? Azura can live a hit. She can live one- Eh, it's Azura, though. I believe in Azura. She can probably live one hit. Um, we'll pair these two up. Kinda go. Hunter's knife in case someone wants to go after them. That's the only bolt- that's a bolt Nagi not to use but we're fine. They're probably- it, it, what I- what I imagine here what's gonna happen is Bolt Nagi is gonna hit Keaton. He'll take tons of damage. Then he just dies to everybody else, pretty much. That's what's- that's literally what's gonna happen. I can call it right now. Um... But, I could go for a risky play here, but Niles will die. Niles took... Niles- Niles has three more defense, though. He took- he took 12 damage from that Kinshi Knight. Didn't get doubled. Hmm... Shining Ball is also a 1-2 range. But will he get doubled? He'll get hit, but he won't get doubled. I think I go Shining Bow. Not nah, with the hit rate. I'll go Iron Bow. That way they'll, they'll bait for Niles. That'll, that'll also bait them over to Niles instead. Boom. Then hopefully, Effie can hit a hit such as the, the Beast Killer. Boom, boom. Beast Killer. Effie. This might decide whether we win or not. Come on. 71. Yes, there we go. Okay, that's good. What a workout. Yeah, what a workout indeed. Let's see. Was that everybody? Besides Keaton? Keaton won't be able to dodge. I just had to pray that he'll live. I'll even... Hmm. This is a miraculous save, but I don't think it works. Because he's not supported. This would be better, but... Then Felicia dies. She pretty much dies, right? Steel Naginata. Bolt Naginata. She'll take nothing from Bolt Naginata. I know that. Hmm. Maybe it'd be good for bait with Felicia. Hold on. What is her what is her HP? 29. That's not bad. Let's let's actually put Felicia here. That way Keaton has a little bit of a higher chance to survive. Let's try that. It, not my not my much at all. For sure. Not my much at all. Maybe I'll even transfer Kaze? His luck sucks though. His luck is eleven. And I'll even go down after a different pair up. It'll go down to nine. But hey, it can happen, so let's uh I think we go for the good old swappy swap, and we... Actually, why don't I just go Kaze? Kaze can't die. He, gets, he takes another row of Bolt Naginata. This is better, honestly. This is better. But he gets hit by a steel. He gets hit by steel. He'll be fine. It's Kaze. I believe in you, Kaze. Oh! I made a mistake! I should have kept Kaze on you! Dodge, Felicia, dodge! Freaking dodge, please! Dodge! Okay, here we are. Very similar scenario. Enemy face time. Gonna go after Selena. All right, that's fine. Um, as long as she doesn't like get tons of damage taken here, it should be okay. Come on, boom. All right, that's fine. Probably should have gone Iron Sword, but it's fine. Um, the only reason, the only reason we were killing the other ones was because of uh, Corin. I have these two paired up for a reason. Mostly just kind of for fodder. Um, because I would want to do Corin and Selena, but it's fine for now. Let's just kind of have her go killing these guys taking him out um and i can have felicia take it the other one so here we go this again just don't get critted i don't even want to look at it thank goodness we're fine okay yeah, they are guaranteed only doing 12 damage to niles um then the one's going for Leo. i just wanted to do some damage and i wanted the kinshi knight to be on the uh the offensive here that way i could kill it easier um so boom kinshi knight's gone and then down comes the scary lunge archer so i'm gonna kill the lunge archer that's definitely the biggest threat right now um then let me see something here. I want to see if my strategy can work here. So, I want to do... I wish I could have killed you, honestly. That was kind of what I was looking for, is two Leo hits would have killed you, but I guess that's not enough. Um, yeah, not enough, unfortunately. Um, I can use the, uh, the hunter knife. Hopefully this finishes you off. Come on, Kaze. I believe in you, Kaze. Come on, Kaze. Thank you. That's really helpful. It had to be done. Yes, it did. That was very helpful, Kaze. Now, I pair up you two, and then I do something like this where I go boop, 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 kill you. Hopefully, you die to this. Please die to this. Please Come on, Niles. That's right, buddy. There we go. I've had better. I know. You've said it countless times. I know you've had better, but it's fine. Just hold on for a while. More speed. <laughs> That's always good. Um, we already saw that level up, but it's fine. Then Baruka can't come right next to Niles, but I have to do that with a Sing. So I'll do Sing, 
not attack, sing to Niles. Um, haven't finished off this last one. And then, um, once I kind of take care of these flyers, we should be fine. So, boop. That's not enough to kill, but Shining Bow is. And I have two chances for it. So, come on, Shining Bow Niles. I believe in you. Please hit the first one. Best case scenario, hit the first one. Yes. There we go. Oh, that's it? Yes, it is, Niles. That's all you get. Um, then, Leo plus you is not enough to kill, fortunately. But maybe Beast Killer plus Leo. That'll be more damage. That oh way it's honor, it's on Effie instead of um K's, which she does much more damage. Were you even trying? Much, much, much more damage. There we go. So that plus Bryn Hilder should be enough to take out the other one. There we go. So now I'm not pincing anymore, so I can kind of retreat to the left if I need to. And I'm most likely going to need to. So as long as Effie hits this, we're completely fine. No more darting blow spammers. We're good. We're in the clear right now. The only problem is, Selena is kind of by herself, so I do not like that. Corrin and Felicia can probably pair up here. Um, that'll stop you. Yeah, that'll stop you. The Bolt Naginata, though, is terrifying. It's absolutely terrifying. So, let's be, let's be wary that that exists. Am I going to get doubled? No, but I'm going to get hit by one Bolt Naginata. And Selena is also there. She probably won't get hit by it, but she's also there. Bolt Naginata and also so Sword Catcher. We're dead. I forgot about Sword Catcher. It's over. All right. Um, that sucks. That really sucks. Man, how do I forget about Sword Catcher of all things? You think that'd be like the one thing I'd remember? But I guess not. I'm a dummy dumb. I forgot about Sword Catcher. Gosh, it's always like the perfect thing, dude. This entire, bad, this entire freaking map always knows the perfect amount to kill me. I swear. Boom. Unless, unless it's gonna be stupid and um, if I can dodge and I and I dodge the uh, or if the sword catcher comes down and I um, wait. No, I think I just, I think I just died. If the axe user, yeah, I'm dead. Um, sword catcher comes down. Yep, yeah, I'm dead. Pretty much guaranteed. Corn dodge? Corn dodge? Corn dodge? Corn dodge? Okay, gotta have a new strategy for the stupid pincer section. Gotta got these two lined up here with the hunter's knife. I think Kay's will can live one. I feel like it can live one. Uh, maybe we'll one shot because of Niles and um, Beast Killer Effie right next to him. I have Leo over here because Leo um, can take hits from archers, but also can take a hit of, uh, from a bolt axe. And he's also got Felicia with him too, which will give him some speed and magic and res, I guess. Um, Selena's down here. I'm gonna have her run away next turn, though. We'll see how this goes. Come on. Please be better. Oh, I have combat animations off. Okay, let me see. That was enough to kill. Oh, that's right, because I can't... Okay, I would have to one-shot by myself. That's right. Okay, so... Now that things are like this, can I do the exact same thing I did last time? Probably not. Um, but I'll do my best. So, this is death. Yeah, that's death. Let's go for this. Um, pretty much guaranteed. Hunter's Knife is so good. I'm so glad I bought that. Very good purchase. So, um, now I mostly just have to find somebody to kill. Probably Baruka right here. Um, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Iron Axe, let's go. Um, unfortunately the Hexing Rod Eater just Hexing Rod three people. One of them being good old Baruka. Um, can Effie actually reach? Hold on. I don't think Effie can reach. Hold up. She can reach, we're good. Alright, you're dead. Um, then it just comes down to the good old Azura. Oh shoot, I was gonna use... Oops. I just realized that um, I won't be able to reach with Azura because I used Baruka to fly her over there. So maybe, maybe with Silas? Silas can reach, maybe? I don't know. Um, Niles can kill you, though. That's good. Then, as long as I can get Azura to Niles, we're fine. Boom. That's a good shot. Eh, I've had better. I know, Niles. I know. You won't stop saying it. He just can't stop saying that over and over. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm more worried about the right side, but let me take care of this last guy here. Hopefully with Chinilla Niles. Um, that's not enough. Let's go for... That should be enough. Chamilla Niles. Come on, Chamilla. I believe in you, Chamilla. Please hit both of you. Thank you. That's really good. You're so cute. <sighs> okay. Um, so now that the pincer section is done with, let's run away. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five. Boop, boop. That's okay. That's... Uh, I'm still safe. I'm still safe. Um, once Mr. Swordcatcher is gone, we kind of have control of the chapter again. But until then, we need to retreat. So, you're Mr. Bolt Naginata. I'm going to kill... I'm going to attack you for free dual guard points, basically. Um, 
Felicia and Leo is also an S support I'm going for. Oh, let's go, Leo! Let's go, Leo! Excellent. Excellent indeed. That killed the Bolt Knight. That's such a good kill. Oh my gosh. Now, once the Sword Catcher unit is gone, we're safe. And I can even come like right here and still kill. But I, I'll, 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 yeah, you can reach me. Yeah, that's fine. He'll reach me. Um, we gotta get Corrin out of the range though, because that Sword Catcher unit, we can't be in range of that Sword Catcher unit if we have a sword on. Um, Corrin can if he goes Dragonstone. So I'll put Dragonstone Corrin right there, and then I'll put Azura right behind, and then I'll put Effie. Oh, shoot, Corrin got hit by an archer. Um, that's not good. That's not excellent. Um, I'll do Brass on Yonata right there. Let's see. Just Leo. You're the last one, right, Effie? Yep, you are. Okay. Boom. Let's chill. Going for freeze onto Leo, so that way your hit rate is... Or, sorry, you you get hit. Your AVO is less, also. So that sucks. High Room Club, that's whatever. Leo is still fast. He's fast enough to W, and he's got lots of HP. And I can come in with everybody else once that I kill that nothing. Sword Catcher unit. I'm only putting Leo here because of Sword Catcher Man. Once Sword Catcher Man is gone, Leo thrives. He thrives. Well, everyone thrives. Because I won't be able to. I don't have to dodge it. Look at that dodge. Leo does an 82. He's still insane. Oh my gosh. Why didn't I just start with Leo? I'm so stupid. Steel Naginata. You're not the. You're not the. You're not, the, you're not I'm looking for. I can still kill you after this, but you're not the unit I'm looking for. And I'm pretty sure that's the end of the reinforcements, too. After these guys showed up, Felicia snags a level. Have she already got that, I think? I don't think she did. And that's a good yes. one, too. Defense, yes. That could always come in handy. Um, yes, okay. You're dead, Swordcatcher. Swordcatcher needs to die. He's the top priority. More than anyone else on this battlefield, he needs to die. So, Silas, maybe? Silas. Sword, look at that. Swordcatcher does nothing, nothing, nothing. 17 damage. So scary, dude. So scary. Um... I'll kill you with Leo, because Leo can't move, and I'm not switching over to Felicia, because she'll die. So Leo might as well just take a kill. Why not? Um, Leo's honestly, like, every chapter you get Leo in, he slowly falls off in each one. So, like, this is probably the best chapter to use Leo in. Um, not saying that because of, like, um, his use of, uh, Not saying, like, for, like, EXP. Like, it's honestly pretty bad to use him in, because he, he steals EXP. But, um... He, it, like, he's, like, has his best... I don't know. He's best in this chapter, I guess. If I'm not, like, trying to overword myself. So, Corrin, you can, um... You're gonna get hit by a throwing club, but it's those are axes up there. You're another lunge archer, so let's kill you as soon as possible, because I hate lunge users. Probably should have killed with somebody else, but... Corrin says for Nor, so for Nor we shall do our kills, I guess. Um, Corrin, you are... Oh, you haven't got to level 18 yet. Okay, that's fine. Once you get to level 18, I'll see if I can hold off on using you for a little bit. Um, until the next chapter. We'll see about that, though. Um, maybe I'll actually give you... Maybe I'll actually let you get to level 19, because it's kind of good for him to start off at a high level in the next chapter. Um, uh, you're dead. Goodbye, sword catcher unit. The chapter's ours. Yep. It's so funny how you can get rid of one unit, and you're like, yep, it's safe, it's safe. I can take care of the rest of the chapter now that that stupid pagan... Look at that. That pagan had so much range, made so much danger for us, but now that that one pagan knight's gone, it's over, dude. All we gotta have to do, all we have to do now is just chill. Look at that, I'm so confident, I'm even gonna overextend with good old Silas, go for the iron sword, up oh, boop! There we go, just give him a little bit of a hit in. And now, the chapter, I'll just take it at my own pace, and we'll be completely fine. Completely fine. And what's awesome about these mages here too, is I can kinda just go ham on them. Um, cause after they're gonna start spam, after they're done spamming their stuff, they're just free kills. That's literally all they are. These guys are coming down. That's fine. Corrin will dodge both of them because he's freaking Corrin. Let's go, Corrin. Dodge. He can't get hit. Okay. That's that's awesome. I really like that. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's make Corrin come on back. Let's not get hit by those guys today, hopefully. Um, question is, who should we kill them with? Maybe like Baruka? Um, how much damage does Baruka take? Uh, she does have... I don't know. She's level 16. Um, Kazi's level 15, but he takes, he almost dies, and that's a crit chance. I don't like that crit chance. Um, yeah, I'll go, I'll go Baruka. She can start chipping away at these guys until they, um, die, and she can't die, even if they, even if they critted her, that would only be 12 damage. Um, and she has plenty of HP, toss her a sing, and I'm just gonna do that over and over again, just kind of like I did with Kay's earlier. I'll kill this archer with Selena too, and then I think, is that the last guy? 
Hold on. Is this the last archer? I think it is. Boom. There we go. And now the chapter's ours. I think I just have to clean up. Besides the boss. The boss can still be scary because he has like certain glow and death glow. Um, but besides that, yeah, I think I clean. I think I just kind of clean up. This is good. We're doing really well right now. I'll start hammering down these stupid shrine mains with Silas real fast. Boop. There we go. Just some chippy XP. Um, and then I'm going to chill for a couple of turns, I think. Um, Baruch is still going to go ham on those guys up there. Um, last freeze on the Silas. That's fine. That's fine. I think that's your last freeze, correct? Yes, there we go. No more freeze. No more annoying freeze users. Um, even Azura is helping out here, which is good. That way, um, we literally get more axe, uh, or sorry, we get more lance experience for Azura. Level 17 with Baruka now. That's good. I'm trying to balance out everyone's levels right now. I gotta take a look at everyone's levels. Um, I think Effie and Silas are both at level 16. Yeah, they're both at level 16. Baruka's level 17. Um, Selena's level 17. Korn's level 17. I did Korn actually is not as far up, um, above everybody else as I thought he was, surprisingly. Um, there you go. Took care of one. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean up and I'll be back in just a second, I guess, because it's not really entertaining to me just or for you to watch just me beating up stupid randos. Um, but I will snag this chest while I'm at it real fast. Get the chest and 10,000 gold. Let's go. Gotta love that 10,000 gold, dude. He gets another chest and it's a Terraphrobe. There we go. Calculated. Um, I'll bring those two on back. My goal over here is to use Felicia and Leo to kill this Entrap user, but I'll do it after an Azura sing so he has higher hit rate. Um, and then I'll kill... They'll probably... Both archers will go after Leo, and then I'll just kind of slowly ch uh, chip away at Mr. Kumagura and then kill with Niles, I think. That's how... That's how... That's how my plan is, at least. Alrighty, it's go time. Let's have Leo come in. Here you go, Leo. Catch this last sing for you, buddy. And then... You'll just take out... I know you'll take out... I have no problem taking out these guys. It's more of the entrap user I want to kill because if I entrap and it puts... It's going to put me right here. That means I'll attack... He'll attack me and I'll counter magic him and I'll die. So I do not want to die. Um, even though I could kill him. But if he hits me, I die in return. So, no counter magic. Let's just hope we hit both of these hits and then we'll be fine. Wait, I just realized... Do one of the archers have a lunge? Um... I hope one of them doesn't have lunge. Let me see. Leo has 21 speed. He should be fine right now. They don't have lunge. They just have certain blows. So they're going to hit him. That's fine. I don't care if they're going to hit him. Um, I care if I'm going to die. So let's just be careful here a little while longer. We've got everything else. Only three units left. Yeah, let's just, let's just play it safe now. Going for Leo. Yep, you're freaking dead. Okay, we're fine. Look at that, dude. Even with this certain blow, your hit rate is still trash against Leo. I mean, then again, you are unpromoted. He's promoted, but still. He's he's Leo, dude. He's freaking Leo. Now, second archer, and you're dead once again. There we go. That's what I like to see. That is what I like to see right now. Now, as long as I don't be stupid and mess it up by hitting him with a magic move, which I only have three magic users right now. That would be... Well, technically four if I have if I count Niles. Um, that would be Niles... Core and Drag Niles Shining Bow, Core and Dragonstone, Leo Brynhildr, and Felicia um, Flame Hurricane. It's funny how only one of those are actually magic, like an actual like magic tome sort of thing. The rest are just like magic weapons. <laughs> there we go. Take that. You should get more EXP from the uh, from that level there. Um, let me just check to see how much damage Niles does. Okay, um, that's not great, but it's not terrible either. Um, he doesn't have counter, he has counter magic. Let's remember that, it's not counter, it's counter magic. So no need to be that terrified. I'll pair up with Baruka in case I need her. And then I'll start going ham on him next turn. Um, Corrin, Corrin could kill. Uh, no, there's no way. There's no way he'll kill. 18 damage. He oh, it's darting blow, it's not darting blow. It's it's not, I thought it was death blow, it's, it's darting blow. So he'll definitely hit, and he won't, he won't double me because he'll have Darting Blow. So, I'll be fine. The thing is, I wanna... No, he won't say anything special to Corrin. Um, yeah, let's do this. He won't crit me. He could use Ox Spirit, but if he does, he, uh... He still won't do that much damage. Yeah, he won't. He can't double Selena. In fact, it's better if he goes Ox Spirit, because it's even less. He'll do less damage. He'll literally just do less damage, 100% of the time. Um, but just in case, 
I want to heal. I want somebody to heal me. Boop, boop. Do the Azura Sing for luck chance. Because I don't. he's not going to crit. I know he's not going to crit. It's just like whenever you fight the boss, it's scary. Because for some reason, it just feels like he'll pull out a trick out of nowhere. So, we chill. He's going to fight us. Yep, s s using the mace. Makes sense. Ah, uh, we're not leaving until King Garen has met his maker. Stay out of our way! Okay, Kumagura. Um, yeah, he two shots us, so we gotta be careful. Um, but it's counter magic, not counter. Boom, we're fine. Every time I see that counter skill, I'm just like, <laughs> I get scared, dude. I get really scared. Um, kinda coming back. Miller can wait up there, and I just heal, and just put her back, I think. Um, I don't really want to be healing using men, but it's whatever. Felicia gets more EXP from it. Probably more weapon EXP from it, too. Then, um, as much as I want to chip down the boss slowly, I think I'm just going to send in Selena once again, and then that'll put him at enough HP to where he'll pretty much die. She's doing 9 as, uh, because of the skill, by the way, in case you were wondering. So, uh, Not 6, but instead of 9. So that'll be keep him at um, freaking however much health. You already know. Uh, two health left. Yeah, I'll have two health left. That's enough for now to get him. All right, Selena. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Boop. And then a couple of hits. Now crits. Very nice. And now it's just capture time with Niles. There's no way we're dying. So let's just use our last men staff. That way we can get a, get away with a little bit of extra EXP, you know? And does anyone else need a heal? I don't think so. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So, Niles, come on down here. What's your capture chance? Okay, you're definitely gonna hit one of these. But just in case, I'll keep us around the back. Capture. No, not shiny bolt. That'll, that'll kill me, that'll kill me. Well, it's fine, you're dead anyway. You're dead no matter what. Um, so let's go Iron Bow. I am pressing capture. Capture, guaranteed. You're... So, let me check one more time, I'm sorry. Capture, okay, yes, I guarantee everything else is done, we're fine. I'm just so scared when this stuff happens. All right, let's go, Niles, for the kill! Pew! Oh! Oh! Yeah, that's right, get into my prison, you loser. Very nice. Thank you, King Garen! Yep, King Garen sucks. It's just how it is, buddy. I know. And there we go, stage complete, woohoo! Silas and Effie, eh. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's probably Niles. Again. <sighs> we somehow managed to win, but it seems that Singer got away. Who even has the uh, kind of power necessary to curse Father with a song? Yes. I don't know, but I intend to find out. She most, she's most certainly with the Hoshidans. We'll all be in a world of hurt if she shows up again. She must be stopped. <sighs> I'm not convinced that she was Hoshidan. I have a strange feeling that... <clears throat> what, that it was Azura? Corin. Oh, boy. Hello, Garen and his sprite. Father? How are you feeling? <clears throat> I'm fine, my son. I have a new task for you. Kill all the singers in Nestra. Every last one of them. Uh, what? You can't be serious. It was the Hoshinans who attacked us. The other performers are innocent. Insolent fool. Foolish boy. This is the only way to keep our royal family safe. Perhaps if you had caught the guilty party, the others could have been spared. But we must destroy anyone who might pose a threat to the Norian throne. As I said, rebellions are like seeds, and we must salt the earth before they sprout. You've seen many battles by now. Surely you've at least learned that much. No. But, Father, I won't... Of course. Consider it done, my king. Yes. Leave it to us, your majesty. Do not fail me. Iago, Hans, I look forward to hearing good news of Corrin's efforts. Oh, boy. Um, wait, both of you. Father, I tried to bring this up earlier, but I sip, uh, but now it simply can't wait. You keep ordering me to take the lives of innocent people. Why? If we showed mercy and tried to talk things out instead, no one would have to die. Even if we managed to win the war this way, people will lose faith in our kingdom. That's hardly even winning. What? Lose faith? Are you a prince or a saint, foolish child? After what you did in Sheev, I'm shocked to hear such a mor moralistic complaint. Yes. It's true. I didn't stop Hans and Sheev as much as I wanted to. But what happened there tortures me, father. It's no way to solve a conflict. Killing innocent people for our own benefit, for selfish glory and control, is that really the Norian way? Is that really the legacy you wish to leave behind? You fondly understand, though you still fight it. I desire only to rule Hoshido. And I and who and those who follow me will do whatever it takes to achieve that. I don't care if the peons that fill our towns don't trust us. They are nothing to me. Those who disobey will die. The rest will quickly learn. <coughs> <sighs> Corin, that's enough. Let's go. 
Father, Corn is clearly exhausted from his travels in our recent battle. Please forgive his rude remarks. He doesn't truly feel that way. No. That's not true, Leo. Hush. I said that's enough. Let's go. Now. Dear Leo, it's gonna help us out of trouble again? <laughs> Thank you, Leo. <laughs> Whew. What were you thinking? Challenging father like that? Do you have a death wish? Leo. Leo, you heard the awful things he said. You don't agree with him, right? You can't agree that it's acceptable to kill innocent people for our own benefit. Of course I don't. Why do you think I helped save Kaze and Rinka? But just because we disagree doesn't mean we can openly disobey father. If you do, one of these days we'll overreact and have you killed on the spot. Trust me, brother. It's best to just, lay, uh, just stay silent and follow orders. Yeah. That's what Camilla said. Yes. Your other siblings and I have been living under father's thumb our whole lives. I am certain that Xander and Elise would tell you the same thing. Yeah? I see. I know that's how you and the others have been forced to live all these years. I understand your perspective, but I simply can't carry out the orders father just gave. I refuse to harm the innocent. All I want to do is protect them. To protect everyone. Brother. Corin, wait. Think about who you're talking to. You know me better than that. As I said, we must follow their father's orders, or at least appear to follow them. Huh? What do you mean? Know this. Listen well. We may not be able to openly disobey him, but we're not powerless. Us royal siblings have made an art of appearing to be good little soldiers, all while, all while secretly manipulating things for the better from behind the scenes. Um, how do you think we survived this long with our souls intact? Well... Leo, I'm impressed, but isn't it dangerous to go behind father's back all the time? Sometimes the righteous path is the most treacherous one to walk. So... Listen up. Start searching in unlikely places to give the performers time to escape. If our soldiers catch any of them, I'll step in and insist on killing them myself. I can't promise we'll be able to save them all, but that's the best I can do. <sighs> Leo, thank you. I'm sorry I doubted you, even for just a moment. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. But don't think I'm doing this for you. You know how whiny Camilla and Elise get when you're unhappy. No one wants that. Besides, doing things my way is exciting. It's not like I'm a hero or anything. Oh, but in now, you say that right then and there, and now Brynhildr starts freaking glowing. Because if you know what happened with Takami last time, it's time for the good old sword thing. Huh? My Brynhildr is gr uh, glowing? And so is your Yato. What's going on? It can't be. Uh, could it be? Is this the transformation the Rainbow Sage spoke of? Whoa! <laughs> oh, Gorin just screams really loudly. All right, looks like his sword is flying up into the sky and is going to transform into the good old Grim Yato! <laughs> The Yato is transformed! This, mu uh, this must be the Grim Yato the Rainbow Sage told me about! Mm -hmm. Uh, Grim Yato? What are you talking about? Did I miss something? Well... In Notre Sages, I sought out the Rainbow Sage as Xander suggested. The Sage said I would soon join forces with another hero of Nor. And when I did, that my Yato would evolve into the Grim Yato. I see. The Sage said that? Incredible. Does that mean I'm... that Norian hero? Yeah? That's the only explanation. Uh, there's some sort of otherworldly connection between our weapons. The sage also said my sword is fated to become the true seal of flames. That's all he was able to tell me. Hmm. The seal of flames. I wish I had time to digest all this, but time is a luxury we don't have. Iago and Hans might have already captured some of the singers. I'll leave you here. Promise not to challenge father while I'm gone. I mean that, brother. Your life depends on it. Oh boy, Grim Yato, dude. Grim Yato is super good. I like the Grim Yato. And let me show you why the Grim Yato is good. Here we go. Grim Yato. Regular Yato had 8 might and like... What, 85 hit? Now it's 11 might, 85 hit, 5 crit, 10 avoid, and then a plus 2 defense and res when carried. It's super good. If you remember the um, birthright was uh, plus 2 to strength and speed, this one is plus 2 to defense and res. And that's going to be really good, especially when I use stuff like um, Dragonstone. Now, my regular defense is 14, but thanks to all the buffs, it's 20. That's really good. That's so good, dude. And my red, that even gives my red a little bit higher, too. It's so good. I love the Grim Yato. I'll say, Leo, what's going on? I'll leave, no option. Yeah, leave everything to me. I can feel my magic energy pulsating through my veins. There you go. Magic and luck, exactly what he's looking for. All right, you don't have accessories to give? No. I have no accessories? That's just sad. <laughs> this is the prison. Each and every evil criminal gets uh, what they deserve down here. Persuade him, Arthur. I believe in you. <laughs> Prepare to hear my thrilling lecture on the striding, uh, striding a path of justice! <laughs> Get in there, Arthur. You can do it, I believe. Come on. Gah! Gah! Shot! He's... Me wear my fists of justice! Victory is mine! He's literally just killing him! He literally kill, hit him three times! He punched him in the face three times! <laughs> Need anything else? I'm at your service! No, not right now, Arthur. Let's get these, uh... I knew we were gonna have a lot of supports, I could already tell. Yes, Leo! Here we go, Corn Leo. Leo, could I borrow you for a moment? Certainly. What do you need? 
I was hoping you could help me study. You wish to study in the middle of a war? I'm happy to help, but why are you suddenly so serious about your education? I thought broadening my horizons might help me to protect everyone. Now that we're at war, I can practice what I learned right away in a real battle. The battlefield is not so kind, nor so simple. I'm sure you've learned that by now, haven't you, Corrin? Yes, conquest, I've learned that. Well, yes, but... However, I do think intellectual pursuits may uh, play a key role in keeping a mind sharp. Uh, that, that can make all the difference in the heat of battle. If you truly desire it, I will teach you anything you wish to know. Thank you, Leo. But don't expect me to go easy on you. You know how strict I am about my studies. Um, I know, but maybe you could light up, lighten up just a little? You asked the impossible. I'll be as strict as I need to be to help your mind grow. Don't forget, you're the one who sought this out. I suppose that's true. I'll do whatever you ask me without complaint. Spoken like a model people. Now, let us begin. Thanks, Leo, dude. Study sessions with Leo, Azara, and Kaze. This is what we, um... I already saw this, though. We're fine. Now we Niles and... Okay, Niles and other people. Felicia and Leo. Here we go. This is what I want to see. Ahia! <laughs> Not again! Oh, boy. Felicia, you appear to have dropped another plate. Are you okay? I'm so sorry, Lord Leo. There's no need to apologize. Ugh, I'm still sorry, though. Nonsense. I've seen you make plenty of mistakes in the past. This wasn't the first, and it won't be the last. I guess that's true, my lord. Not very graceful. True. In fact, it is my observation that you are not suited to be a servant. What? Don't say that! Oh, why? It's the truth, is it not? One mustn't shy away from the truth, Felicia. One must face it head on. Please, my lord, I'll try harder, I promise! Don't make me leave! I wouldn't dismiss you personally, uh, though you do cause us undue grief. I was not threatening dis uh, disciplinary action. I was merely offering food for thought. I implore you to reconsider. This profession may not be the uh, right line of work for you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must return to my studies. Good day, Felicia. Goodbye, Lord Leo. <laughs> She's so freaking sad, dude. Okay, um, was it Niles? Niles Baruka, let's do that one first. Well, well, Baruka. I still haven't given up the assassin trade, I see. What do you want? Been visiting Nor, haven't we? A slum wouldn't have been my first choice of uh, vacation destination, but different strokes. You followed me? Pe uh, people forget, what with all the thieving and killing I do, that I'm a skilled tracker. I was behind you every step of the way. I must say, it was a pleasant view. Now, you and I both know that the slum is a prime source for, the, uh, for contracts. If you're planning to kill someone, I advise you come clean to me about it right now. Strange. If you're so skilled at tracking, then you should already know my business there. Well, I... Just admit it. You tried to follow me, but my, but my trail went cold. That wasn't an accident. You... I'm not your average Mark Niles. I have a sixth sense for the street. <laughs> but rest easy. I wasn't doing anything I shouldn't have been. So you can stop toying with me. Wow, dude, Baruka's one step ahead of Niles. Interesting. Um, we'll go Effie and Elise. Here we go, the best pals. <laughs> yeah. Effie, will you put me down, please? I don't want to be your dumbbell anymore. Oh, but you're the perfect weight. Okay, I'll set you down. Watch your feet, milady. No need to be so formal, Effie. It's just the two of us. Yes, my Okay, Elise. <laughs> Say, do you remember how we met? Of course I do. You snuck out of the castle and came to play in the underground city. Yep, I was sick of being in that stuffy old castle. I wanted to make a new friend. A real one. I never, I, I never have guessed that a muddy little girl was our princess. If I had gone back to the capital, you probably never would have found out, huh? It's weird to think about what might have happened. Yes, it would have changed the entire course of my life. But we did go up, and those guards found us. I tried so hard to protect you, but they were too much for me. I was only a child. I might have been locked away forever if you hadn't told them who you were. Hehe, <laughs> yeah, we sure showed them. They got so scared. That was the day I'd swore, I swore I'd protect you for the rest of my life, no matter what. Yep, I remember it like it was yesterday. Thank you for always being there for me, Effie. Wow, that was very nice. That almost seemed like an A support, but whatever. Baruka and Kays? Um, hmm. Now that, now that the war council is over, how shall I pass time? I suppose I can head back to camp and organize my supplies. Hmm? Baruka, what is it? Uh, nothing. I have no orders, so I am merely standing by. So, you've some free time then? Why not use the opportunity to go train? You spend so much, uh, so much time doing it, you must enjoy it. It is duty, nothing more, and I have spent enough time on training today. If I overexert myself, I will be fatigued tomorrow. This is unacceptable. Your dedication is commendable. Perhaps some fun is in order. Do you have any hobbies? Hobbies? You don't know what a hobby is? Allow me to explain. Hobbies are activities you devote time to for pleasure and interest. Pleasure? Interest? Frivilities? I have no- I, I perform no such actions. Uh, perhaps you should go for a walk then. It might be a nice change of pace for you. Which part of the term frivolities do, uh, confused you, ninja? 
I do not believe it's a frivolity. Mental health is a criti as critical as bodily health. Walking and other leisure activities uh, relieve stress and purify the mind. It is, in a sense, your duty to spend some, your, uh, some of your time off duty relaxing. I see. If you push yourself to your limits at all times, it can weaken you. It is precisely the same reason you are not training right now. Overexertion is a vice. However, if you do not enjoy walking, you should not do it. I suppose it is worth a try. What do I need to do exactly? Do I just walk? How about I accompany you? Very well. You have my gratitude. You are most welcome. <laughs> Jeez, Baruka is like so freaking weird. All right, Silas and... Oh, yes, the S-support. That'll be good. Uh, we might even be able to do that in the next episode. But let's do Niles and Camilla first. Um, Niles, I've been looking everywhere for you. It's time for you to explain yourself. Ah, uh, I love it when you get all feisty. Your cheeks are turning red. You are you saying something? I can barely concentrate when you're like this. Enough. You better explain what you meant the other day when you said it was pathetic. Fair enough, Lady Camilla. Do you know why people love puppies? Because they're cute? No, it's because people want to be loved. Huh? They want companionship, a person they can come home to. And if they can't get it, they'll settle for a furry creature who'll greet them and slobber on their shoes. This is the same relationship you have with that lost, uh, that lost little puppy, Lord Corin. You're miserable, so you shower him with affection, and that puppy slobbers back. Are you calling Corin a dog? That's disgusting. Oh, I like that hostile look in your face. It's giving me the chills. Do you want to know why I came up with that, uh, this theory? I'll tell you. You better. My parents abandoned me in the slums of Nor. I was raised by thieves and criminals. I learned fast. I did what I had to be. I did what had to be done to survive. So forgive me if I'm a little jealous. When I see someone who is obvious, uh, oblivious to suffering, I like to give them an education. The moment when they discover their first taint of pain is pure bliss. Niles, you're a sad person. Am I? For someone so sad, I'm having an outrageously good time. Jeez, Niles, that's uh, uh. He's a little crazy. All right, so Silas and Effie as support. Here we go. Um, Effie, thanks for coming. Hello, Silas. What's going on? Well, I just wanted to say thank you. You've inspired me to work harder. The way you train, the way you lay your body on the line for Lady Elise. I'm re I'm, re I'm rededicating myself to the total protection of Lord Corrin. Oh, Silas, don't thank me. All I did was act kind of cranky. Lord Corrin is lucky to have you on his side. Well, I certainly hope so. Ahem, <clears throat> there's one other thing. Well, go on. I have a tough workout scheduled for this afternoon. I wanted to tell you that Corn is no longer the only person I'd die to protect. Oh, that's a surprise. Who is it? It's you, Effie. I'd stand alone in, a, uh, in front of a great army to ensure your safety. Uh, that sounds like a problem. What? Why? Like I said before, I can't have anyone standing in front of me during battle. Oh, uh, of course. But, uh, that's not exactly what I meant. Alright, I'm just gonna put it out there. Ahem. <clears throat> Effie, will you marry me? Oh, I see what you meant. <laughs> Let me think about this for a second. Sure, I'll marry you. Um, that's great, but you seem awful casual about all this. Well, I'm a little surprised, I suppose, but it makes a lot of sense. You're a good person. You're strong and loyal. I've enjoyed getting to know you. As long as it won't interfere with my duties to Lady Elise, I'll happily marry you, Silas. I understand. I promise to protect you and be, and by proxy, Lady Elise. And we have a long and happy future together. Thank you, Silas. I'd give my life to protect you as well. Assuming I'm not, uh, not already busy protecting Lady Elise, of course. And there we go. There's our first S support. Ah, freaking deep rom, deep rom, deep rom, deep rom, deep rom, deep rom, 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 deep rom, deep rom. Stupid deep rom, dude. So yeah, there we go. Silas is now married. Now we'll do his paralog in a future episode. But let's um, let's invite over a pal first. We can invite over. Eh, no, I'm inviting over K's. I don't want to invite over Charlotte. Charlotte's boring. What's on K's? Let's go K's. Let's go K's. K's, K's, K's. That guy's freaking K's, dude. That guy's freaking K's. As King Garen's prisoner, I was prepared to die for my cause. But thanks to you, I'm still alive. Thank you, my friend. Aw, don't. No, nothing to worry about, K's. Don't worry about it. Man, K's is such a cool guy. You can never go wrong with K's. Let's see. I can upgrade the prison. Eh, don't need to. Upgrade the smithy, don't need to. Upgrade the fire orb, do need to. Let's do that. Boom. Um, and then anything else I can build? I think that's all the maximum. So, um, hot spring. I need to focus on hot spring. Yeah, uh, I need to upgrade the hot spring, the, um, and the fire orb, and the shops. I think that's all I really need to focus on upgrading. But I guess that'll be it. Thank you so much for watching, but I will see you all in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye-bye.